well 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 Taurus let's talk shall we I think we have an interesting little conversation to have for today so I'm just gonna clear the energy welcome you guys back to our love nest for those of you that are new welcome um, those that are returning okay I almost drew a blank right there <laughs> can you tell yes I almost drew a blank Something about a blank can be significant. Um, yes, clean slate. So your slate will be wiped clean. I'm hearing six weeks. Something about six weeks is very significant. Yep, the hangman energy confirmation. As within, so without. The king of pentacles is out cheer. Hmm. Oh, wow. You guys can't see it in this um, deck, but on his the back of his hand, he has a tattoo of the Ace of Pentacles. There is this same symbol on the Ace of Pentacles. So that's very significant. All right. The Ace of Pentacles kind of is, is giving a sun energy. OK, then we have a flower ray of light. All right. Mm hmm. Very, very interesting. So this is definitely your energy. Definitely about you, Taurus. I'm here the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. All right. I feel like you're about to lay all your cards out on the table or you already did. There's something here about ready to risk it all. You're going all in. You're going all the way up. You're going all the way in. You've had your time to think about it. You've made up your mind. Something turns out better than you ever expected. That's what I'm seeing. So let's talk about the next six weeks. I feel like spirit wants to talk about the next six weeks weeks, and some type of rose colored glasses. I can barely even speak right now. Something about an illusion, a cast, a spell, a rose colored glass, an attachment. There's something that was keeping something still. It's not giving me a stuck energy. It's giving me, let's see where things go. Let's just see where things go is where I'm is what I'm hearing. It's not being said out loud. It's like just trust in the universe and see where the universe guides you. That type of trust where things go. But something turns out better than you ever expected. Something was like an ultimate release, an ultimate purge, an ultimate Mm -hmm. Something just really like there's a, a, a full circle moment in regards to a journey. That's what I'm seeing here. Hmm. I'm hearing your personal for those of you with personal year. I think it's called personal universal year six. Something about six weeks. Um, something significant is meant to happen some type of transit may also be happening like in the cosmic um, energy and that's why they just keep saying six okay when I think of six as well that also reminds me of like DNA activation especially uh, from the 666 perspective of um, you know breaking patterns Okay, that are that you're kind of born with, you're kind of already coded with, and then you break that combination, you break that lock, okay? That gridlock, especially for those of you that know what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm hearing say it again, spirit. Okay, they want me to say this slowly. Okay, I like when universe plays with me like this. All right, so mm hmm. Your personal universal year six will be your most rewarding and fulfilling going into it. All right, take that how it resonates. For those of you that are coming out of 
your personal universal year six, this will be your most liberating and exciting time period. Something like this hasn't happened in over 14 years. Something about 14 years may be very significant. Take it how it resonates. They just wanted me to state it just like that and let you do with it what you what you see fit, Taurus. Um, hmm. So I'm seeing nothing but smooth sailing. Okay, nothing but smooth sailing up ahead. This is going to be the calm after many years of storms or after many storms. I'm hearing, I'm going to leave the door open. I'm going to leave the door open. All right, I think that's Bruno Mars. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Let me know if I got that song right. Uh, confirmation if I did. So something about being on point. Huh. I'm hearing dot com. So like always, Taurus, for this particular reading, I am only here to encourage you, my loves. I am only here to remind you and to bid you safe travel. <laughs> okay, safe spiritual, mental and physical travel, Taurus, for travel sake, whatever type of travels that you're having. I'm hearing that. It's going to be smooth sailings. I don't know what this is, um, but but um, let's get into your channel message spirit. Will people be able to deceive you? I don't see no one else. No one else being able to deceive you. I feel like your heart is wide open. Yeah, something about your heart, <laughs> your heart being open towards with the sun. And it's interesting that I was describing the sun on the King of Pentacles card. And the tattoo and then the sun card comes out. That's what I'm talking about, Taurus. So someone has a hand and you have a, you have, someone ha is playing a hand or a role in your transits or your transitions in life. It's not a new person. It's someone that you've known in multiple lifetimes. Okay confirmation the book yes it's already been it's in your akashic it's already happened your mind and heart has to be aligned in order to open this door open this gateway and to have clear passage through oh my god confirmation confirmation so so this is the only way for you to be sure that someone isn't deceiving you, Taurus. This is the only way for you to be very sure of yourself. And there's a completion to this whole entire uh, riddle. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. There's going to be a completion to this entire riddle. Things are going to just snap, make, deci make decisions, snap judgments. It's going to just feel right to you. And it's going to be like something you've never used to do before or you never used to do with anyone else. And it has something to do with your Akashic and your mind and your heart feeling like you've done this before you've seen this before you're going to have so many moments of like recalling memories and you're going to just see your lifetimes okay because I don't see this as yourself you're going to be shown a lot so you can remember something about triggering your memory all right let's get into this channel I'm getting a whole download about a person okay so your divine counterpart that you are in in intertwined with your one soul with is has incarnated with you in this lifetime okay so in this particular lifetime you have already incarnated with a a soul That you've already experienced in multiple lifetimes for some of you you've already experienced this soul in this lifetime this is about to really trip you up it's like <clears throat> you've seen this person in this lifetime or something about this lifetime is significant uh 
And it's different for every single person, but that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Let's keep channeling. You've fixed yourself in another lifetime. In another lifetime, you fixed yourself. You tied yourself. You gave your hearts to someone. You, you, you guys created some type of lock and key. Like some type of lock and key um, riddle, lock and key uh, algorithm, lock and key mastery or something like that in order to open the vault of your heart chakra. Okay, in order to experience your heart chakra. So one person is a lock and one person is a key. One person is a book and one person has all the answers. So there's there's significance about passing a test. You you will pass a test that nobody has ever been able to pass ever because it's already fixed to only respond to the maker, okay? To the craftsmen, craftsmen and women of this of this type of connection. Wow, very ancient, very primal, or the originals is what I'm hearing. Huh. This person will know you so well that they say all the right things. They do all the right things. They just know you. They know all the answers to the riddle. They don't need clues. They just know. It's a knowing. It's a resonance. So because uh, your mind was, was so locked or gridlocked, uh, nobody was ever able to read your mind. There's something about one of you, no one can really read your mind. So they have to guess and make a lot of errors in order to try to figure it out. And by the time they, they try to figure everything out to unlock your heart, to unlock your mind, um, you become bored of them or you know that they're not it. And so you have like this intuitive nudging where it's like, no, you're next. <laughs> if that's what I'm seeing here. <laughs> and so you may have had a lot of experiences of people becoming very obsessed with trying to crack the code of your heart and crack the code of another person's mind. So someone is coded in the mind and someone is coded in the heart. Sheesh. Oh my goodness. So nothing is wrong with you, Taurus, with the sun energy here. Nothing is wrong with you. You were just built this way for a reason. There's something about free will. You were built with an encryption of free will. And because you knew that you would incarnate and forget or have your memory wiped, you place the answers in each other. Oh my God, Taurus. And so anyone that tried to crack the code would become stuck. They would lose themselves in the process of trying to unlock the both of you. They would lose their mind, their sanity. All right. They would feel un like they would try to tie themselves, but it would, it would be at a, at a karmic will. And so nothing is, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're perfect. Your mind, you're handsome. It's something about it's just perfect. Your hearts and your minds are perfectly intertwined. Um, and it was built this way. You guys encoded it this way during these trying times. Something about these times are so significant. All right. Because y'all are the originals. Ooh, Taurus. For those of you that are going into like this heart or you're letting someone into your heart or you're guiding someone into your heart, I feel like you're giving safe passage tower. Yes, the walls are f falling down. Well, actually, let's do it like this because it's giving me the story that I'm tapping into, right? It's opening the floodgates to heaven here. 
Oh, Taurus. Oh my God, Taurus. Your heart is going to sing like a canary for this person. Yes, I can see it already. Just so you know, Taurus. Off the strength that you know this soul, you recognize this soul. I can guarantee you, your heart is about to sing. All right, I'm seeing an S. All right, something about Superman or Superwoman could be significant. Yeah, Superman, masculine energy for sure. All right, somebody's wearing something proudly. We have a lot of major arcanas, nothing but major. This is major portal, major energy, the sun, the hierophant, the tower, the emperor. I'm seeing someone draw an S on their chest. And they're like, I will own up. To, I, I will step into this position. I, <laughs> this is like literally... Um, Typically, someone is used to things going bad after an experience or after something like they find themselves like, well, that, I don't know why I even indulged in that. I don't know why I did that because it always gets worse. All right. I always lose people are always it always creates a manic person, but it's the opposite for the right person. And so someone is like drawing an S on their chest and they're just like. That's it. I know now they feel relieved. They feel secure, stable. Um, they're doing away with some type of fear. They, it's, it's like they've been released. So you know how like in a lot of fairy tales, they'll show you like the, sim the symbolism of the first kiss, right? And how that translates into breaking of curses, spells, hexes, and things like that. And you know for sure the direction that you're going, the skies clear up and everything becomes completely like you see the future clearly. That's what I'm sensing here. That's what I'm intuitively picking up on is knowing exactly who and what you are to someone. It's like reading your own book experiencing your own novel experiencing your own book remembering all your akashic memories at once to a i'm telling you this is in regards to a soulmate energy here you have the page of cups the not the page of cups the page of coins with the two of cups with all this major ar arcana oh yeah it's about to go down we're gonna pull a oracle just because I feel guided to y'all with this channel message. I feel like the universe is about to give you confirmations in the next six weeks. Of You're going to receive clear confirmation of who this is about. It's in your face. Okay? Literally. Uh, we have numerology precision and that's in reverse. So normally I don't take the cards from the oracles in reverse for this deck, but they want me to take it, take it away. Take it, take me away. They want you to eliminate the need of needing to have things simultaneously happen at the right time. Like they want you to, whoever you are that resonates with this they want you to take away the need to know when something is going to happen or waiting for a synchronistic number as a confirmation for you to embrace something. That's what I'm seeing here. Like, let's say, for example, you like to wait till you see 12, 12 on the clock, you know, before you make a decision or you really rely on digits and codes and numbers as the confirmations or synchronicities to move forward or to take action in a particular way um you're going to start noticing as well that things are shifting from the mind directly into the heart chakra 
and it's going to come from so if you start to feel like wait a minute I'm not really able to control knowing certain things normally I know everything normally I have the answers and I feel very certain about what is going to happen next and I'm really the emperor energy I'm really in control of the navigation because you're steering the boat right I feel like because of this incubation at the bottom of the deck getting more good night's sleep but deeper than getting good more good night's sleep I feel like there's an integration happening like whole something is becoming whole that were equal parts of a whole at, at once they're they're kind of like blending together and becoming like whole like this so in order to really complete that integration process this is that let me in right so the let me in process comes from you not being able to read another person's mind you're not being able to really know or get all the answers, which means that you have to go. It's a rite of passage. You access the heart chakra of another soul. And the access of that heart chakra is where the legend was told. You're a legend for a reason. And so as you integrate and you've, you've already gotten to this position already multiple times over where you, you know how to get things moving you know how to get things going working cohesively but in this particular situation the access and the legendary energy is like prophecy right and really on a more spiritual level than the mundane you have to go into it blind you have to go into it feeling your way through as a rite of passage Similar, the best way I could describe this to you, it's like the year of the dragon, right? You've had multiple experiences of conquering different dragons and you knowing how to ride it and synchronizing. And so you have that as above, so below type of higher self, lower self thing. Well, now your higher self is saying that you have to retrieve the sun. You have to go to that higher, higher, higher um, being to retrieve the, the, the clues to this riddle. <laughs> you got to take it to the most high. You got to go to the tippy top. All right. And by doing that, you're going to be. Okay. Tarok, tarok, mato. All right. So you're going to acquire some type of relationship with the even higher being. Um. And that is going to integrate with you and give you the the insight. Okay, but in order to really experience this, um, it's hidden. That's what they're saying. But going through the sun, you receive the, the illumination that allows you to um, navigate the darkness right the darkness is feminine energy in order for you to go into the darkness you got to go into your emotions into your moon and so you will go through this season without support all right your spiritual team will will leave the room is what i'm hearing yeah they're gonna leave the room like you're it's almost like your your gifts are being stripped for a for a a short period of time and as your your mastered gifts are being stripped it is a rite of passage for you to ascend essentially and become more essential for the next phase of your journey what's required of you at the next phase and it feels like you you will conquer this rite of passage without all the tips and tricks that you've acquired along the way on your journey um And there, at that point, it's like the, the most high will find you worthy for something. And I feel like this is going both ways. Mm -hmm. 
So if your mind has been, for those of you that have had a journey of your mind being very fragile due to people trying to constantly put in the wrong codes in and trying to unlock your mind and figure you out, you're going to go through, like I said, experiences of, you have to go through the transition of not knowing as well and having all the answers so you can trust your thoughts. And I feel like that's where the perfect alignment is going to really come in and that's going to open the, the channel. Okay. And you're going to receive the affirmations. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Look what comes right behind it. Affirmation. What is this? Foresight in reverse and mastery. <laughs> okay. And so for a moment, you'll be like, um, it'll be like flying without, without a radar or something like that. It's like so the world is about to stand still in a particular way and it's different, but I, that's just what they're showing me. Where is the tarot deck? Okay. Let's get back into the tarot deck. It's like you're gonna say yes to this expansion you're gonna say yes and the wait is over something about just saying yes the hermit this is a very spiritual reading this is a very spiritual channeled message um something smells so good oh my god I don't know if it's like, I can't tell if it's perfume or cologne because I'm here, I'm smelling like a hint of both perfume and cologne and it's kind of giving, who are you? It just makes me want to say, who are you? Because it's not like super fruity, like a feminine perfume or super soft and it's not super musky or strong um, or pungent like a, like a, like a cologne but together, it it, it kind of has like a hint of both. Maybe someone is coming up with a new fragrance because we do have a bottle here. Or right, you may be trying to come up with a new fragrance, a new perfume. Or maybe that's something that you may do in the future. Confirmations. If you've been like looking up like different different notes. I'm hearing like high and low notes. Someone wants to someone wants to hit create the perfect scent. All right. I'm hearing high and low no notes. Yeah. I'm seeing someone do research. The, the perfect flowers and the perfect intentions and having the perfect uh, scent here. I'm also seeing someone trying to... It's Okay, someone... Yeah, I am seeing this. Like someone, someone wants to, not trying. Someone wants to remake a scent in the next six weeks. Someone's going to want to recreate a fragrance or a smell so they can be reminded of you. It's me and you now. I'm waiting. I think you better make a move. Mm. Baby, tell me if you like it. Something about um, someone's going to do something and they want to know if you like it um, or you may. Somebody is going to be really focused on some type of scent, fragrance. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to really open up someone's ideas. Something about opening up ideas. This may be a meditative type of thing. I'm also seeing... Uh, this may be something that you drink as well. So do you want this in reverse? Nope. Okay. So we have the Empress here. This is definitely blind faith, blind trust, not worried about anything.
So the the snake plant to me is is very purifying. Like someone someone wants to encase all right because the snake plant has the ability to purify the air right wherever this the plant is it takes in toxins and then it purifies the air it makes it a lot cleaner and stuff like that there's also a, a lot of spiritual and um spiritual mental and physical benefits that come from it if you are someone that's drawn to the plant um there's something about feeding like whatever whatever you feed it that's not supposed to be next necessarily good for it the the plant will alchemize it and give it back to you 10 times better so that's kind of like the symbolic meaning that i'm seeing here whatever you give this empress she alchemizes it and so i do feel like someone wants to create a sanctuary that really allows a space or a sanctuary that allows an empress energy to feel completely safe vulnerable and in great like in a great environment that allows them to really nothing can affect you here all right not other people's projections not other people's thoughts like you you'll have a quiet calm serene environment and i feel like someone wants to create that environment where it's like if you if you have gifts where you tend to connect with the energy in the room or you tend to take on a lot or absorb a lot of the environmental space or a lot of energies are drawn to you whenever this is meant to happen for you the next four to six weeks it's like there's going to be a golden egg or a golden bubble of impenetrable force protecting you from you're gonna be like oh wow time just passed it's now been a week when <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's been two weeks I don't even I haven't even heard you know I'm not even sensing anything in the room I'm not sensing anything in the space I don't know uh what's going on in the world like this is the ultimate bubble okay and there's something about for once things are so calm things is so serene where you're not constantly transmuting energy all day you're not constantly um having to protect defend or block yourself from being able to really open up like a lotus flower and be completely in tune with your environment your habitat all right so one thing of one thing about this energy with the four of swords and the empress energy is pretty much saying yes you're going to be in your own world yes you're going to be in your own bubble but it feels as if whatever type of habitat that you're in it's it's not there's room to grow in it you get what i'm saying you're not um in a situation or in an environment where you feel restricted from being able to really experience creativity. So you may be taking a vacation or a trip here. Sunshine state may be significant and it just feels like you, you're not having to think and be everything for everybody. And this may be an opportunity because we have the Ace of Pentacles here. <clears throat> I'm seeing horseback riding. Okay. I'm seeing yoga retreats. You may be going to a retreat. There's some type of decision that I see you making in the near future and you're not going to think twice about it. They know how they say when you put a snake, and it's interesting, this is what, what I call a snake plant, right? It's, you know, when they say if you put a snake inside of a, a habitat that it fits them at the size they are at right now, the snake will start, it'll stunt the snake's growth. The snake will start to become ill, sick, because the habitat 
was created um, or the size of the habitat, whatever, wherever they were at, it was it was only able to facilitate the snake where it's at right now. What you need is a space or a habitat that is projected on where you're going to go in the future. Right. So you need a bigger habitat. You need a bigger space. You need more room for the projected growth that you're about to have years down the line. And though you may not have all the things or items to fill the space up with the enclosure, the habitat, the space is conducive towards growth, abundance and prosperity. So it's going to manifest um, it's going to support its growth rather than depre- depreciate its value, okay? Or its ability to expand. So this is beautiful. But I just see like nothing's going to be able to touch. So which means I feel like you're going to have a clear channel for communication. And nothing will be able to penetrate you from the outside in. All right, because what the Ace of Swords is telling me is that, yes, you're going to meet adversary because the Five of Swords is already here. But your source or your channel for clear communication is going to be that much more pristine, that much more accurate. I feel like your communication with your angels is about to be. um, Yeah, we have the sun and the moon. You're going to retrieve so much information wisdom look at this and i just see a transformation occurring and you don't have to defend yourself or worry you're going to be extremely cared for provided for and it's interesting that we have the emperor and the empress all right so this is telling me you're going to grow into these shoes you're going to grow into these positions the both of you are going to be growing into this habitat into this this position of 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 leadership um, responsibility and though you may not be able to perceive how much you're capable of yet the 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 future the prediction the habitat is already prepared for you for your expected you know growth to the end not just where you at for this season okay so that limited belief system is being eradicated out of your psyche out of your subconscious realm yeah i love to see this yeah the wait is over you have absolutely no idea the lovers (laughs) wow 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 The lovers. You know what I see here? So I see the five of swords and I see the five of wands. However. One door will close and the other one will open. And when this other door is open. Whatever prior ties, whatever prior patterns, anything left residual is going to be wiped clean. And that is why your channel message that I heard at the very beginning was your slate is being wiped clean. Yeah, the king of the king of pentacles. I love to see it. I love to see. When spirit just like brings it all the way home, like come through. All right. I don't know why I've been drawn to this deck so much lately, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to go with it. Sarah, what's your closing message? For all my lovely Torians, what's your closing message? What is your closing message, Spirit? We have sex magic. Okay, let's get the final cards. And then we have change. 
um numo numo change and then we have alignment magic i said i told you someone has a personal hand in this oh wow you know what i'm gonna read both because i just feel guided to do both and that's what we're gonna do all right i'll be doing a pick a pile very soon drop in the comment section if there are any future self questions that you would personally be interested in asking your future self um again my intentions is to focus on asking questions in alignment with your future self there are multiple versions of reality being simultaneously experienced right here right now um, and so the one that you particularly aspire to align to based off your free will and your own personal soul and what your soul truly desires that's what we're going to focus on that's what we're going to tap into so definitely in the comment section let me know if you could ask your future self one question what would it be and based off of how many i see in the comment section i will make a poll on the community tab and we we all can vote on it okay and that will be the next live in regards to the pickle pile right i'm super excited to see you know what y'all come up with what y'all want to ask if you could ask yourself anything what would you ask yourself all right let's get this magic card mm. where are we what number is it going to be? So for magic, we have 85. Okay, this could be the year that someone was born, you were born, or there may be an angel number confirmation if you look that up. All right, so let's start with magic. And it says, I'm going to do, 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 I don't know where I heard that from, but I'm hearing it. So whistle. Whistle while you work. Do, 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 do. All right, we have alignment. As early as 660 BC in ancient China, Kara Ginen from Seawood was used to create a water soluble lubricant. This was said to have been used for over a thousand years. When this card appears, it is a sign for some major self work. The mindset around pleasure has been steered towards shame for a very specific reason. If you could harness the true potential of creative energy, we might have, we might take complete control of our own lives. In this card, we see the hand has a small light emerging from the center of the palm and that the lines of the palmistry are written in gold. The palms contain a chakra used and open when channeling Reiki. This card may indicate there is some prosperity coming your way. Your plant spirit is Tong Kat Ali. All right, and then the next one, what we got, what we got. We have creation partnered and it says sex magic. All right. So we have creation partnered and we have 69. So 69 may be very significant or you can look at the angel number 69. Also cancer energy may be significant. <clears throat> All right, when I think of cancer, I'm, it's also guiding me to talk about the subconscious realm, the moon energy as well. <clears throat> Something could be in your subconscious realm that's lingering as well. 69. All right, so 69 is creation partnered, sex magic. I integrate and accept change and I align with the cycles of life. This card emerges when you need to collaborate. Each person has one hand behind so as to not show all their cards. It's as if they have talents they do not know of because they are only 
emerged when working together. Partner energy is powerful, whether it is love, friendship, or business. When you combine your intention with someone else's intention and the two are aligned, working in tune with your intention, the results are magnified. Just because you've known someone forever doesn't mean you can't give new people a chance. Be open and honest with yourself and how you feel about collaborations. More often than not, if you have a problem with the partnership, it is a reflection of your own inner struggle. Return to creation energy. One, solo magic if this card continues to appear. Your crystal pairing is fluorite. All right, Taurus, these are the messages that I have for you. I'm sending you lots of love, wisdom, and guidance on your journey. And I'll see you guys over on the community tab. Bye-bye.